Uh, we're gonna listen to the post fight interview. Uh, we are now how many fights we're into UFC 300? We are right here. Bobby Green beat up Jim Miller. Just an Andrade in a close fight. Of, uh, beats up Rodriguez. Uh, Jalen Turner just got stopped in where he looked like in round number one. He was on his way to stopping um, uh, Renato. Uh, looking at the rankings here. By the way, this is taking place at lightweight. Where Islam Machayev uh, is champion. Oliveira, um, interim champion. Fighting later on tonight. And where is Jalen Turner? Number 11 and very deep division. So obviously he's going to be moving into the top 10 now. And was he the was he uh, supposed to be the underdog? I don't remember. Overall, you know what I like about UFC 300 compared to boxing? Is they started off hot. And um, the arena is already nearly halfway full. Well, it looks like it's more than halfway full. Everybody's in their seat and the energy is just electric. Let's listen to the post-fight interview and see what's realistically next in this uh, uh, division. But this is the fight I'm looking forward to right here. We're one more fight away. Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison. And then the card's going to open up with uh, Bo Nickel versus uh, Cody Bundridge. And yeah, we're going to go from there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let's listen to the post-fight interview. Contest. At four minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO, Benato Morcano. With the arena. No fucking Roga! Let me tell you something. I am a huge advocate of the First Amendment. Amendment, and let me tell you something. Today, I want, of course, I want the 300k bonus, but they're not gonna give me because somebody asked. They say, "Hey, this is fucking Disney. You cannot curse." So I'm not gonna do my speech. But first of all, I love America. You already cursed. I love the Constitution. I love the First Amendment. I can. I want to carry and own fucking guns. I love it, private uh -huh. property. And let me tell you something: if you care about your fucking country, I'll read. Ludwig von Mises and the six lessons of the Austrian economic school, motherfuckers. Yes. Renato Moicano, ladies and gentlemen, killing it out here. Renato, what? Are... Second of all, I just start a podcast. It's going to be the best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me the Money. And on Monday, my guest will be Joe Rogan. You cannot refuse. The people want to see you on my podcast. Oh, and no, bro. Money, boy, come to channel, motherfuckers. Renato, what a speech. But let's talk about the fight. Renato, you, you did a phenomenal job of utilizing your skill set and getting it to the ground. It's, it's in the beginning of the fight. It looked like he hurt you with the body kick, but you got right on. Nobody can hurt me. My name is Money Fucking Moicano. I'm the best lightweight in the world. I lost to Jose Aldo because I have a fucking family to feed. I have dreams to fulfill, and I'm not gonna stop until I have in the belt and pay per view points. You have see, you need to respect me. I am the best in the business. And I'm gonna show you guys, Jalen Turner, tough guy, huge guy, very good striker. But I cannot afford to lose. Money Moicano, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Money Moicano is right, huge win for him tonight. And Let's see we, we have just begun see our fight next. activities here in Vegas. Plenty more where that came from. Well, uh, when is Joe Rogan gonna be in this podcast? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. What's Michael Chandler doing? He's still sticking around waiting for uh, uh, Connor. That'll be a good comeback fight for him. Did he fight Hooker? He did. No, he didn't. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.